Yeah, I thought I'd just record this using the device that we're going to be reviewing today. It's the Mbino video doorbell. Now, I just thought about recording this now, so if this doesn't tie in with the rest of the video, that's the reason. I thought it'd be cute to actually me do a monologue in front of the device that we're actually reviewing. And the conditions are pretty good today. And plus, just to prove that it doesn't always rain in Scotland, occasionally we do get a sunny day. Anyway, I'm going to go in before all the neighbours think I'm going batty talking to the front door. This is the Mbino. Bino? Mbino? Whatever, but it's a wireless video doorbell and it supports 1080p recordings, which automatically switches conveniently from daylight to night vision. With its 170 degree lens, you'll not only be able to see who's at your front door, but also your whole front garden. Now, unlike other video doorbells, this is wireless, which means you don't have to call your local Sparky to fit this. No, it's got batteries that are said to last six months. This is a product that you may have seen on the unboxing video. It's a video doorbell by Why Now. I think that's how you pronounce it. By now. So it's in direct competition with the Ring video doorbell. And I think it looks rather cool. Press the button. It's, they say it's in very, very easy to set up. And I must confess, I've already done it already. And it is really easy to set up. This is the, the chime part where you plug in. So you can plug that in anywhere. One thing they must make note is this only works on 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So if you've got five gigahertz, you need to make sure that you've got a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi service or this will not work. Okay, so it's easy to get the app. You just uh, use the QR code that's in the instructions. So I haven't showed you the app. I just wanted to show you it quickly. I did set it up. Uh, and I did film setting it up in the app and it became an incredibly boring video. So just take my word for it. It's very, very easy to set up. Right, so this is the doorbell that I've got set up. And this is a picture of outside my door. And it's not a live picture. That That is the last picture that was taken. If you want to have a live picture, you have to click it and go into it. But we'll just show you that in a second. I just want to show you everything else that's on this app. The little eye at the top there literally just tells you what version you're on. And then a little cog wheel here. If you click on that, gives you your uh, method of notification. So push, push mode, you can put it on silent notification or call in. You're supposed to have cloud video storage. I did reach out to the developers and they couldn't tell me anything about it, uh, whether it's a breakdown in the communications language barrier, I don't know, but I can't get the cloud video to work. So if anybody does know how to get it to work, I uh, really would appreciate it, put it in the comments section. Right, so basically if you want to see a live picture outside or what's showing on your doorbell, you just click on the image there and this is where it will take a few seconds. Now it probably will, well, there we go. It didn't take long at all. Sometimes I've noticed that it takes longer than others. So it's not 100% as quick as that all the time. Now you'll notice at the top you've got a date and timestamp. Uh, you've also got a Wi-Fi signal there and it also tells you the name of your device. I've just called it doorbell. And you can also switch between HD video and SD video. There's not much between the two, I've got to be honest. So at the moment you can, you've got three little icons here. Photography button, click that, you can take a, an image of your outside, save it to your camera roll. Uh, if you click on the microphone, person, if you were standing outside of my house right now, you'd be able to hear me talk. Turn that off. And video, that's you recording what's happening outside now, and it will be recording it to your camera roll. And now we've just got settings. 
Now this is the bit where the cloud storage possibly may be intact because I don't have an SD card and there is a cloud video option now. I've checked that and it still won't record anything to the cloud so I don't know why they call it cloud. I presume they just mean record to SD card instead of cloud. As you and I would know the cloud, the cloud is you know, online storage. And now this is the PIR detection. So basically if someone goes past your doorbell, uh, it will give you an announcement. So quite honestly, I keep that disabled because it can set it off. Lots of things can set it off and you end up your phone just going off and the the tone is it's just ding dong. It can be quite annoying. And that is the app. It works fairly well. Uh, sometimes it can lag, but for the most part, it runs really well and it's quite efficient. Right, we're now going to, I'm going to press the doorbell, see how long it takes for it to come up on my phone, okay? Oh, it's up already. Someone rang the doorbell, whether to view. And it's up already. There we go. So if I turn on voice, it then hears me. And if I turn on camera, yeah. Okay, yep, yeah, it works. <laughs> so that was quite quick. That was very quick. You can also record, you can also uh, send this to another phone as well. So if you're needing uh, another person in your household is wanting to use this, then you can do that function as well. It's got a PIR uh, function. So it does come up really quickly. And then it is showing. And now it's got this. So. That is pretty much all the testing I can do right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up at my doorbell. Now, I was wanting to do a longer test than this, but the manufacturers of this wanted me to make a review of it quicker than I would like, uh, because I would like to have used this for maybe a month. Um, but what I could do is maybe do an update later on to see how it, you know, it goes in real life. In first glance, I don't think I'd be using this as a security device. Um, but I guess I'll only be able to know using this in the long term. So at the moment it looks pretty promising, so I'm going to set it up on my door right now, which is dead really simple because all you have is this here. Right, it keeps saying there's activities, so it does actually work every time I go across it, so I'm going to have to turn that off. But go back to the plate, it has got an anti-theft plate. Now this is going to make a noise. Right, so it's set up. Now all this you do is you just click it in, if you get it the right way around. So that would go into your door, and then it just clicks in like that. And there you go, someone's trying to steal uh, my device. So I've heard contrasting views on these doorbells. Even the ring doorbell I've heard that uh, it doesn't work particularly well. In fact, one problem with the ring doorbell is it took so long for it to answer. Whether that's changed or not, I don't know, but that's certainly very quick. So yeah, I think the proof in the pudding will be in the long-term testing. Right, I'm gonna go and set this up now. Okay, I'm outside my front door. I've set it up. I'm gonna let you have a look at it right now, okay? So there it is there, it's set up. If I press, you can hear it. And I don't have my phone with me. <laughs> okay, it's here, it's definitely here. If I press it there, oh, I'm getting soaked. Oh, I'm going to have to come back in. 
this is why it's a test because this, I'm not sure if this is actually uh, waterproof or not. Well, there you go. So it's showing up there. So if I see, you can see me hopefully. Hi. So, anyway. Jeez. This is why I wanted this, this to test this here. It just rains here all the time. So the proof will definitely be in the pudding and this, uh, we'll see how long it lasts. If it lasts the rest of the Scottish winter. Who knows? So a few niggly problems setting it up, but all in all, it is easy to set up. I've had worse things to set up, that's for sure. Now, just before we do our little wrap up, I'm just going to show you a little few scenes of what the camera is capable of on different environments. As you can see, we've got some rain and now we've got the one day of sunshine in Scotland and I've managed to film it just to prove that it does happen. Handsome guy there. The night vision, I think, is actually pretty good. Now, you'll notice a little bit of lag there. That can happen. That was recorded on 4G, but it doesn't matter. 4G, Wi-Fi, you can get the odd bit of lag. Something to take note of. So there you have it, the Mbinu video doorbell. I think it's pretty good. I think the results speak for themselves. Links will be in the description. And if you like this kind of video, please like and share and hit that subscribe button. And I've got to say thank you to my new subscriber. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. Thanks for putting in the effort and hitting that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye. If you like this video, subscribe by clicking here. <laughs> anyway, if you want to watch another one of my videos, click here. Oh. And if you want to watch something else, click here. Oh. Anyway, you get the general idea, you know. <laughs>